to get a game against Chess Master Bot. He's a high rated player. Uh, D4. All right. Now I'm going to play an opening called King's Indian Defense. That's another one of my favorites. He's playing the London system, by the way. So this is the setup that I like. And if you want to learn more of these cool setups and opening ideas, you can just check out my website, chessopeningsexplained.com, where I talk about Accelerate Dragon and King's Indian and a lot of cool stuff. So this is all well known. Even though my pawns are doubled, my rooks is my rooks getting opened up. That's the key. So now this bishop needs to be transferred on the long diagonal. So I'm gonna put the bishop there. He's actually playing really good chess, chess master, but quick. He's playing quickly. And this is called the dragon formation. It's common in many openings, such as the dragon, obviously. Benoni, King's Indian, Accelerate Dragon, which is my favorite. So do I really want to play c4 or keep some tension here? Let me think. I think I want to keep some tension. c4 was an, was an option. I'm going to try to move my knight maybe to a4, put some pressure on the pawns. Hello, on an OK. Uh, let's see, my opponent is thinking here. Well, he's got some problems to solve. A lot of ideas here. Um, you can't see where to challenge me, just go to chess.com live chess, and then you have to find me there and just challenge me on, on the website. Uh, the games that take days, that's different. You gotta go to live chess. Live chess is the one. Joshua, you're Luke. All right, so my opponent is kind of falling asleep a little bit. This is a blitz game after all that he challenged me. Let's see, what else can he play here? He can preemptively move the bishop out of the way. He can preemptively protect the pawn. There are a couple of ideas. Again, guys, if you're just joining me, my name is Grandmaster Eugene Perlstein, and this is my show on chess.com called Boston Blitz Bro. And I see a lot of challenges already popping up, which is great, guys. Uh, so he took, which I'm not a big fan of, because now I got two bishops. This is called the bishop pair. And usually that's a good thing in chess if you get a bishop pair, although the position is a little locked up. So my job is now try to open things up here. So I'm seeing a lot of challenges coming in. Good job, guys. Hopefully you get a chance to play me. Now, I'm not really sure where this knight is going, honestly. Maybe he can tell us. What is this bishop doing here? So rook d6 maybe is his, is his idea now. So I gotta be a little careful. Now, honestly, I don't think rook d6 is a big deal. I'm just gonna protect the bishop. So now the knight c4 fork is really, really annoying, guys. And my opponent is gonna get in trouble. Yep, he did get in trouble after missing the fork. So now that pawn is gone with another attack. I'm just going to come back and attack this pawn. Every move, guys, is good when you're attacking. Remember that. Um, honestly, I don't see any problems why I can't take this. I've got this massive pawn storm. And my opponent just blundered an exchange. A little fork. Forky. More problems coming up. With every move, he's facing some difficulties. Another double attack. And he drops the rook. Unfortunately, GG. Chess master bot. So where did he make a mistake, guys? I think he kind of played really quickly, but around here he didn't know what to do. Remember, he thought for a long time. This is already probably not the right rook, because you need the rook just in case things open up in the center. And knight a4, and he's in a little bit of a pickle. You know, he's got a bunch of pieces all paralyzed, so he had to do this. 
Now he undoubles my pawns, but most importantly, my bishops come to life. And the key guys with the two bishops, you got to open up the game. And that's what I did here. And then under pressure, my opponent blunders this fork. And then more blunders to come. And that's how.